By design, using the menu items control group, you get five menu items and one contact link, which adds up to a menu that supports six items in total. But what happens if you want more than six menu links? Or you're a power user and you just want to take total control of your menu and change the way it's coded. Well, you can do both of those things using the custom menu items field. Here, you're able to input HTML hyperlinks uh, in whatever format you want. So let's get rid of this blog link that I programmed in before. And instead, I'm going to recreate that blog link using custom menu items. Um, custom menu items are always going to be inserted in between menu item 5, which in this case is the about link, and the contact link. So they're going to go slot it in right here. And uh, like I said, all you've got to do to use this is dial in some uh, HTML. So if you know how to do it, it's uh, open bracket a href equals quotation mark the address of your blog or the target of your, your hyperlink, whatever that's going to be. So I'm just going to put in http colon slash slash lr dot the turning gate dot net close quotation mark if you want to put in a target or you know any other code you can do that too but I'm just gonna go ahead and close my a tag and then write out the label so we're gonna just punch in the turning gate because that's where it goes and then we're gonna close the a tag open bracket slash terminating slash a close bracket and then maybe I'm going to uh, do a space put in some sort of divider character, and I'm going to type in an additional uh, URL, which is uh, forums. So I'm going to send people to lightroomforums.net. So http colon slash slash lightroomforums.net, close, and then lightroomforums. Close the brackets, another space on the end to make sure that we have the spacing we want. Hit enter. And as you can see, that HTML is translated into menu items here. So I now have links to the turning gate and to lightroomforums.net. If I wanted to get rid of that divider, because as you can see, I'm not using dividers anywhere else, I can go ahead and do that by re-editing my code. So I'm just going to make sure I have a space between those two links so they don't run together. And there's the menu. So that's how you use the custom menu items. If you really wanted to, you could turn off all the preset menu items and then you could just write the entire menu yourself uh, using the HTML for custom menu. So if you don't like the order uh, of items as presented maybe you, know, you can do it that way. You can reorder menu items by coding them yourself here.